Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Route1FM and of course this is my FM23 save Grassroots to Glory with Braintree Town FC. Now, after the last video, which was really good, good support on there, we got to the Christmas period, we started in the new year, come February, things were looking good. This is now the final of Season 2. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit that bell button, hit that subscribe button as well to know actually what's in this bag. If you want to know what's in this bag, leave a comment down below. It's, um, yeah, quite interesting. But more importantly, let's see what happens to Braintree in this final part of the season. Now, you can see us, we were hot around the playoff area touching distance but you know how it is form can change now we look at this and we look at this as a start to go on and with the breaking news of fm24 coming out everyone's seen the post and the notable thing is of taking a save on now i started this save late again We've done Grassroots to Glory twice already. We've done it with Salford, got them up to the championship. We've done it then with SC Litson, got up a few divisions. But seeing that a save can be transferred from one game to another, it's I don't think it's going to be there on custom databases. So it's going to be on the standard databases. And this is where it gets interesting. And I'm, I'm announcing now that this save will carry on so the new gens in this save will carry on into fm24 we are going to have fun with this so braintree town is where we're starting small little town in essex um 20 minutes away from colchester uh, which is where i reside so we're a semi-professional football team and we started in the Vanarama national league south which we got promoted to the national league this is now the culminating of the first season so let's head over to see some action from today's games and here we go with the first game against halifax now we're on a bit of a dodgy run wins here and there but we need to make a change and as clement plays it through to rush rush to pain to Kwame, and rush comes in and scores a goal that is Rush's goal after a little bit of a goal drought. Halifax on the attack again and Kozovic picks it up. Plays it out to Clements. Plays it to Altawat. Out to Boateng. Bit of a change formation and change of personnel. Reynolds now playing on the left at the moment. Trying to cut in. Jab. Jabs across and Kiwamia could have got on the end of that but puts it over. So lots of changes here. We're definitely feeling it being a semi-professional team now. We're only training twice a week. But Rush is through. He's round the keeper and he scores again. Rush has got a second. And it's not even half time yet. So really good. But like I was saying, we're feeling the strains now coming to the end of the season. Players are getting tired. They're not winning how they should. And they've pulled a goal back. Halifax through Harker has pulled one back. But... We seem to be fighting our way through it. And you see an unlucky goal that there comes off the post. Beat the keeper, but no one could get the rebound. Jeb, who's been a bright spark this season since signing, has done well in midfield when called upon. Now a game against Sully Hole. The question is, can Braintree turn a little bit of a bad form into some good form? Reese has just arrived in as another backup goalkeeper, looking good for the future. I thought he'll, he starts well, actually. So we we'll give him another go in goal. And as we win the ball here through right, right plays it in the rush, but Matthews gets on that, and Matthews has scored. An away goal there for Braintree puts them 1-0 up. That's really good. Solihull on the attack. Now, Solihull have got pred pedigree in this league. They do well every season. And they come close there from the header. Boot from the free kick. Solihull in the second half on the attack straight away. But Davis picks it up. Drives at the defence. Jeb loses out. 
to two players. That's two players taking Jeb out, but Maycott gets the ball across, and there it is. Kelly has put it in for Sully Hole. They've pulled one back. That's not good. Braintree need to get back on the offensive again. Kiwamia plays it out to Reese again. He comes well out with his goal to collect that, but the ball seems to be pinball around the midfield area. Beresford looking for someone, and he gets the ball in. And balls again, and it's well held by the keeper. Ling to right. We're playing free in midfield. Changed a bit of the formation up and went for a 4-3-3 to go all out attacking. But goals are shy at the minute. Ball gets played up a lot. It comes back. Ping around the midfield area. Ball over top. Kelly looked offside then. He did look offside. But Davis picks it up. And Link plays it forward. But it seems to be coming back. They can't hold the ball up from Beresford across. And there is Kelly with his second. It's now Sully Hall Malls 2. Bradford. Uh, Brentford. Sorry, I say not Bradford. Brentford 1. Uh, not even Brentford. Braintree 1. I'm getting names mixed up tonight. Davis. Plays the ball long, but no one can get on the end of it. Boot from the from the goal kick. What's he going to do? He's going to have to go long. Long it goes. Straight to the defence. Perisford. Oh, could have slipped it over, but well held by the keeper. Reese takes no time to release it early. But there was no one there. And it's come back out and Barrett across. And there it is. Oh, what a finish there. By Tom Lepordenen. Laportena, I believe that's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure, but we're free. Praying to a free one down. But they're still going forward. Davis trying to look for Carvalho. Carvalho picks it up. Little turn, and no one there at the near post. And it's ping balled around, but no one can get a finish on that. Shocking play. Rush from a header, and it's straight into Boots' hands. But I think the flag was up for offside. Here comes Sully Hole again. Kinlock. With the throw gets the header back and they're just playing it around there it is barrett and he makes it 4-1 braintree capitulating there at the end jeb with a quarter it's come to nothing clements picks it up to right right back it's going all around no one can get a foot on the ball right tries to bring it forward jeb gets tackled there by bradford ball gets hung up in the air it's getting hung up and round and defence have just taken it off him. It's gone forward, Jeb, and it's gone over the bar. What next now? We need to see some action. But it's going to come from the goal kick, gone straight forward. It's gone, gone straight all the way through. Ball played across and it's gone out for a throw. Davis. Is there one last attack here for Braintree? Davis plays it long, looking for Rush, but Rush is beaten in the air. The ball goes out. That's got to be full time now. No, Clements still got the throw in. Right, plays it forward, looking for someone, but Kelly picks it up, and that's it. Right, guys, you've seen it there. A win and a loss to end the season. Why well, not quite end of the season? There were games beforehand. We won the last two, I can tell you that. But here is the end of season review. Let's look at the new arrivals. We've got Barrett. He's come in. Nah, he's done all right. He's going to be one to keep an eye on for next season. Kozovic, our young 19-year-old goalkeeper signed from Arsenal. Signed in the summer. I can't argue that. He's star player, that, that guy. Rocco Reese comes in as a backup goalkeeper. Some of you may remember this guy from Braintree days, Femi Akamade, he's come in, good return, eight games, six goals, can't argue with that, Sam Baird come in from Barnet as well, he's now my first choice left back, Jack Jebs getting in there midfield, former Arsenal youngster, and son of Christopher Ray from Arsenal, who is related to George Weyer, Chris Ray from Southend, great return from him, 22 games, fifth, uh, 11 goals in all competitions so not a busy transfer windows shall i say um what's that six come in it's we improved the team but we kept some of the team from the season before the team that got us promoted and this is why look at that we have finished in 10th 
the board wanted us to avoid relegation we finished 10th in this uh, Matty Rush top goal scorer with 16 goals cannot argue about that at all uh, Woken got promo got championship uh, Chesterfield got promoted so but I'm happy with that 10th place for a team who was favourites to go back down uh, FA Cup Soros get knocked out by Crawley 4-2 in the first round FA Trophy took us all through to the quarterfinals where we lost to Crew Alexandra on penalties so it's a little bit of a good cup run uh, biggest win was an 8 win, eight one win against Southport there. Pavey, Matthews, Carvalho and Kiwamia all getting on the score sheet. The match to remember was Pavey's uh, game against Oldham where he got started off great after 6 minutes scoring and Ray scoring after 17. Goal of the season went to Diaz Wright against Woking. Great strike from the central midfielder. Skirt curling a 24 yard effort, it come from a corner, pinging it around, come out to the 18 yard box. He receives it, one touch out of his foot, curls it straight into the top right hand corner. Finances wise, it's not looking good. The only good thing there was the broadcast revenue, so um, we need to work on that. We need to get some big faces in there, so to hopefully get some more dollar through turnstiles in there you go line up for this year Kozovic in goal Davis Ackerman Okacha and Bell at the back Wright and Jeb in midfield Reynolds Carvalho Rush with Alfie Matthews up front they got goals in there Matthews Rush Carvalho and Reynolds two of them just off double figures but compensated with the two others so it's not too bad accolades I won man of the month in August. That's good. Kostovic, clean sweep of the awards, getting player of the season, fans, young player of the season, sign of the season as well, and top average rating. Uh, Diaz, right, you know, scored goal of the season. Matty Rush, top goal scorer with 19 goals. Lamar Reynolds, 11 assists. That man is an assist machine. I'll tell you that for starters. Um, there we go. History book. There. BBC Essex are happy. Talk Sport are happy. We've done well. So I can't argue. But the manager timeline does not look like much. This was the season before. So this is where we got promoted. We're going up there. So Blair, he left left us. Manager of the ward. We've got manager of the year there. But here we go. Only about Kozovic getting that. Joining brain through in a free transfer. And my, I marked my 100th game as manager with a heavy 4-0 defeat against Bromley. Guys, that's not good. But season 2 is done. We've got to go into season 3 now. And that's going to be tricky. Now, we all know that as soon as clubs go up, second season syndrome can kick in. And it's my second season in the Varmer. Panorama National League. So we've got to do better or better than 10th. We've got to avoid relegation. That's the main thing. We're going to go forward. We're going to do pre season. We're going to get in some new players. So keep an eye on my Twitter as well for it to let you know who signs. Don't forget as well, 29th of July, there is a match happening down in Slough. That I have been asked to participate in uh, with many others, many streamers, many YouTube content creators, um, people like Lelujo is going to be there, Tom FM, Clates, um, God, so many. There's about but we've got two teams of about sixteen, and that, and I have been invited to, uh, to do it. Limo's in, involved in it, but I'm very honoured to be part of it. Um, it's going to be something new for me. I've never, I've only interacted with people online before uh, in the community. I'm going to enjoy the time going down there. And yes, I'm going to do a different video that week. We are going to have the vlog. We are going to see me set off for Slough. We're going to go and have fun. We're going to have conversations. You just actually, let's get them out. Let's get them out little treat for you now if you're still here stuck in the video you want to know what's in that bag don't forget to leave a comment down below 
these are my boots now how bright are they they are they are bright mercurials nike i haven't worn them for a little while so that could be a little bit rusty but absolutely bright love them boots so they are going to make an appearance at slough on the 29th of july if you are not participating and you are free get yourself down there ten or a ticket on the day you get to watch two games of football and the fmt podcast as well live we'll be there we'll be having fun it's just going to be a right giggle but also the big news that with what miles and si have announced with fm24 grassroots to glory will continue this save on from 23 to 24 so everyone's a winner we're going to go there let's get pre-season done we've got season three don't forget don't matter what you call it football soccer football just remember it's for the love of the game i'll see you next time